Your, ex uh, Your Excellency President William Samoy Ruto, President of the Republic of Kenya and Commander-in-Chief of the Defense Forces, Your Excellency the Deputy President Honorable Rigadi Gashagwa, my colleagues, members of the Cabinet, Governor Sakaja, the Secretary General of KOTU, Brother Francis Atwoli and his entire leadership, the Speaker of the Senate, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, workers of Kenya, Hamjambo, Wafanyikazi Hoi, Asante Sana. Your Excellency, I'll be very brief just to make two points. The first point is to say that I am delighted and extremely astounded that the one Honorable Secretary General Francis Atoli has spoken without blinking saying that Mambo Yelisha Badilika. Your Excellency, if one thing can be attributed to Francis Atoli, he is very pragmatic and is very realistic and he does not mince his words. He has spoken and he has stated very clearly that we have no time for unnecessary distractions to the economy. It is time for us to close ranks, pull together and work with the government and make sure that we can enhance the stability, particularly economic stability of this country. Mr. Secretary-General, that is indeed a very powerful message to the people of Kenya. Your Excellency, I would also want to encourage, because I was not too sure whether I had it right or did not hear, but KOTU has come out very strongly on the need to avoid disruptions. I would encourage the Federation of Kenya Employers through the other entities, KEPSA, Kenya Association of Manufacturers, to also come out very strongly and stand against these disruptions because they affect across the board. It is important that we all grow our economy, we grow our revenue, and we move forward. So let us pull together both employers and workers to make sure that we do not have unnecessary disruptions in our economy. There is no more time to waste. We have to work hard and we have to move forward. Your Excellency, it is now my pleasure to request the Deputy President, Honorable Rigadi Gashagwa, to come forward, make his remarks, and then invite you. But, Your Excellency, the symbolism of your being here should not be taken for granted. Sasa ni wakati mugumu kwa mambo ya kiuchumi. Na president amejitokeza kuja hapa kujiunga na wafanyikazi wote wa taifa letu la Kenya. Wakati wako kwa hali ngumu. During the difficult time, you have come forward to stand with the workers of Kenya. That cannot be taken for granted because it is not an easy time, we are going through challenges, but that gesture is a very strong signal that even in moments of difficulty, you shall come forward and stand with the people of Kenya. Mwana Deputy President, nafasi ni yako umkaribishe rais. Asante.
viongozi wetu rais wa jamhuri ya Kenya